I used to fall in love with all boys who'd whip out the odd organ. But I've been left sadly bereft and looking like an old gorgon. For since I got the urge on for such an obsessive surgeon whilst tearing off a game of golf I may get a call from my bladder but when I do I don't go to the loo cause my samples belong to dada I used to fuck for a nip and a tuck to iron out my eye baggies but now I find I've been left blind cause my eyes are now my daddy's and my liver he sold for a packet so he could take me to dine at the Ritz and my kidneys did us quite nicely we spent a week in San Maritz so I got to warn you laddie though I know your scalpel is swell that my heart belongs to daddy cause my daddy dissects me so well well he skinned me alive last weekend just to line his executive case now I have to wear a corset to keep my guards in place so they'd come out there actually. So I got to warn you, laddie, though I know your scalpel is swell, that it all belongs to daddy, cause my daddy transplants me so well. Thank you. Yeah. Also, thank you for your thoughts. Anyway, it's, it's um, Karl Marx was devoted to his sharks. The poor creatures terribly missed him while he was attacking the capitalist system. So, that's that one. So, um, arise Alan English from your slumber. Oh, fucking thing. Yeah! 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 Now I've got you. Boing! I get snakes inside my ears and bursting blisters on my brain. I'm zoning in and zoning out. My thoughts are spinning everywhere. Through a glass wall I try to hear you, but it's hard to understand the people speaking to me, talking to me. Total overload. I'm zoning in and zoning out. My thoughts are spinning everywhere. All conversation is frustration and I'm struggling to connect with people speaking to me, talking to me, total overload with random thoughts. Creative impulses exploding in my skull. All conversation is frustration and I'm struggling to connect. I have to focus. Pay attention to the voices all around with random thoughts. Creative impulses exploding in my skull into sink snakes with angry bites injecting venom in my ears. I have to focus. Pay attention to the voices all around. The people play a social game in which it's tricky to keep up with the sink snakes with angry bites injecting venom in my ears, eroding all my confidence, distracting me with rage. Doubt. The people play a social game on which it's tricky to keep up. I can't repress these inner demons because I hear them all the time eroding all my confidence, distracting me with rage and doubts, the stinging lectures of my hands, the reek of words, the stank of truth. I can't repress these inner demons because I hear them all the time, the taunting bullies in the playground, shouting teachers in the class, the stinging lectures of my hands, the reek of words, the stank of truth, the friends I've hurt, the loves I've spurned, all pull me deep. Inside myself, the taunting bullies in the playground, shouting to Charles in the class. The scattered fragments of the past that are embedded in my mind, the friends I've hurt, the loves I've spurned, all pull me deep inside myself. Or soon they merge into a matrix of creation and ideas, the scattered fragments of the past that are embedded in my mind. These vivid images so sharp, they prick my conscience, stir my thoughts. Or soon they merge into a matrix of creation and ideas. I can't contain them, stretching, screaming as they struggle to escape. These vivid images so sharp, they prick my conscience, stir my thoughts. The superheroes, evil villains, pretty damsels. 
wise old man. I can't contain them, stretching, screaming as they struggle to escape rampaging armies, squabbling politicians, suffering innocents, the superheroes, hero villains, pretty damsels, wise old men. I make up stories. In my dreams, my fantasies are brought to life, rampaging armies, squabbling politicians, suffering innocents, burst out at me. I take the shape and form of words, and with these words I make up stories in my dreams. My fantasies are brought to life in plays and poetry, by tomb, psychos, asthenas, sonnets, songs burst out at me. I take the shape and form of words, and with these words I speak the truth. I'm alive, I live for this, performing words in plays and poetry. Pantooms, haikus, asthenas, sonnets, songs, I am complete. Yet so alone, imagination rules my world. I speak the truth. I am alive, I live for this. Performing words because I'm itching to create. Cut loose and let the demons out. I am complete. Yet so alone, imagination rules my world. Through a glass wall, I try to hear you. But it's hard to understand because I'm itching to create. Cut loose and let the demons out. See, I've got snakes inside my ears and bursting blisters on my brain. Thank you very much. Cheers. And she has just told me about how she's spent an hour today uh, going through bins in order to find one of her own body parts, which is always good. Um, Mel Jones? <laughs> it's called Fuck Me If You Think You're Hard Enough. So I, don't, I don't fall in love. I, I obsess. My infantile heart was lost the moment we undressed, my fantasy of you and me grew quicker than your cock the first time you saw my tits. My soul is in bits, just awaiting the next call from you who, let's face it, I don't know at all. And who couldn't possibly have guessed that my yes could mean all this. Still, there's no need to piss yourself. Don't stress. Each time we fuck, the obsession will get a little bit less. I know myself. So the trick is, obviously, to fuck me cockeyed. That's the key. Fuck me till I squawk. If you want the stalker in me to die a little death, then fuck me till I haven't any breath, till I'm distraught. Otherwise, I'm dangerous. So muster your defenses and roger me so hard that I come to my senses. <laughs> Take me repeatedly until I boo and hiss your length and breath, until soft tissues bruise and use up all the heat in me. Fuck me till I'm nothing but a sticky, oozing mess. Fuck me till I refuse to kiss you. That kind of frequency and depth is therapy for me, and for you it's, it's a fairly urgent health and safety issue. Thank you. Well, there are a few people who could realistically follow Mel Jones, but uh, fortunately, um, I think we have a game cat in the room. Um, it is time. It is indeed time to bring on the man himself. It's him. It's the game cat. It's time for the birthday boy. Hey, ladies and gents, Mr. Alan English, Ant Smith. And I'm married. <laughs> and uh, this is one that's all about all of the reasons why I got married. Look, my wife drew a cock on it. <laughs> She's stenciled. Happy to be a toy, happy to be a plaything, happy to be a toy. 
Sorry. You. Sorry, I stop it. Where's my dancing girls? This one says what you are. I am a sinner! There you go. <laughs> Class one. You raise me every morning in your special way. Sometimes I find I'm bound and gagged and I can't get away. I admire your expertise with that thing you hold. If you were a pole dancer, I would be a pole. Happy to be a plaything. Happy to be a toy. Happy to be a plaything. Happy to be a toy. Hi! Love your naked skipping. You jiggle like a whore. Leave me here sweating. Panting out for more. Panting, 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 panting. Panting out for more. Happy to be a plaything. Happy to be a toy. Yeah, push up bra. There's more to you than meets the eye of those boys you taught. There's a piece of me that you enrage when I see you float. They may pump your tires up, but I will ride you home. They may pump your tires up, but I will ride you home. Happy to be a plaything, happy to be a toy, happy to be a plaything. Gets me banned from everywhere. Mark Edinburgh. All of it. It's one of my 100% love poems. You can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me you's in love unless you's in love this much. That's the rule. In it, Sam. <laughs> Dear Mortician, I need a reminder. Do me a favor and gently scalp her. Well, it's okay, it need not show. You can take it from down below. Stick my pole. Rigor mortis has me caught out cold. She has clamped up like a limpet on a hole. Dear taxidermist, I need a loving look, the kind that always make me wanna fuck take your glassy eyes and fashion some surprise I need to see that glint in her cold dead eyes I said I would love her forever and a day I meant I would love her from 
beyond the grave. Please, please help me misbehave. I want to fuck her before she decays. 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 Again! I want to fuck her before she decays. Again! I want to fuck her before she decays. Stop! I want to fuck her till the end of days. final tune of the segment, which we were trying to work out how to categorise, possibly acid bluegrass, uh, maybe chip chip hop, chip shop, something <laughs> or <laughs> just cracking stuff. Yes. Uh, we're back, we've got another half, and everyone who's supposed to be here is here. Hooray, it's all worked out. The first of the people who is here and was supposed to be here um, is the lovely man who is the spoon behind the spoonful of poison, for he is Viz the Spoon. Let's bring him on, Viz the Spoon. This one's called Respectable Trousers. That was good, though, isn't it? Um, respectable Trousers. I met an old friend today who used to be the same age. He doesn't seem the same as once he did in his leathers and his skid lid. Once a long hair with big boots, a real rabble rouser. Now he's in shoes and respectable trousers. A sensible short hair, no longer a child. I'm still offensive, but his manners are mild. He was with this bird. Didn't much like her. She was only with him because he was a biker. And now he seems settled and scarily much older. Pawn the cow! He must have told her. Bring me me slippers! Fill me a pipe! I've always fancied a bird on a bike! And a bird on a bike he fancied was ever. She looked well good in leather, did ever. But now he wears a jumper. So he's going to have to dump her. <laughs> End. Next up on the bill is a man who is a fantastic, gutsy proponent of free expression. Um, he joins us, I believe, from the encampment at St Paul's. It will be lovely to see him. It's Dennis. Just Dennis. Where's Mr uh, Smith gone? Uh, you're still here, you old punk. Yeah. You're still here, my old son. For those of us who still remain We're now white punks on Zimmer frames No longer squatting in dirty basements But in hospital having it replacements White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames, oh, oh, white punks on Zimmer frames, white punks on Zimmer frames. Joe Strummer and polystyrene have passed the date where they're expiring. X ray specs, X generation are now preparing for incineration. White punks on Zimmer frames, white punks on Zimmer frames, uh oh, white punks on Zimmer frames. White punks on Zimmer frames Breaking out the city into nursing homes Shuffling away on the brittle bones Those safety pins still adorn their clothes They're a necessity not to fashion pose White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames, oh, oh, white punks on Zimmer frames, white punks on Zimmer frames, 
On the odd occasion there is anarchy When there's a special offer in the shops for OAPs I can't quite think what the next line is Cause I've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames, uh oh White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames One more time White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames, uh oh White punks on Zimmer frames White punks on Zimmer frames no future, no future, no future for you and me destroyed. Thank you. Happy birthday, Mr. Swift. Where's Anne? Is he even here? Well, I'm glad on his cigarette break. It's that concrete jungle That they say is the life Be lord of my manor With my dick in a vice Thoughts of my failing queen Those broken dreams Flashbacks of a violent scene Dropped on Nicotine Catch the last bus home What the fuck is this drone? Two thumbs up And my head's on Next door, I just wanna mow. No food on the table, just a mobile phone. Got me thinking about last summer. That night was a bummer You told me off for the fourth time I said, fuck you too No, I can't tell if they're rose tinted Or if they just smell a beer But these goggles I've got on Make you seem so cool Thinking about last summer That night was a bummer You told me off for the fourth time I said, fuck you too No, I can't tell if they're rose tinted Or if they just smell a beer But these goggles I've got on Make you... I oh, fucking repeat do you know why? It's because I was spending so long thinking about those people who think because I've picked up a guitar I haven't got less to say than a poet. All it means is I'm multitasking.
And now we're spinning on the pavements With our LED lights shining in our faces The beer sense that we will one day have to move from our places Cash the four ten home feeling chilly and alone I'm on for three a trip and stumble in a puddle This is our ode to those, those evenings that we all have to endure for the sake of one quality poem <laughs> that you might get every fifth gig. It goes like this.
Standing at the bar on Saturday night, the fellow from the dark side asked me for a light. He sparked up his cig and brought in the beers. Then he said there were a party on at Princess Leah's. I wasn't going to go because of trains on strike, but he offered me a backy on his air old bike. At warp speed three, we zoomed through the trees, got mooned by some Ewoks and flicked him the Vs. A parsec down the road, he's parked his machine in a cul-de-sac on Tatooine. The place was packed, there were Wookiees on the wall, droids in the driveway, Han Solo in the hall, a Jedi mind trick got us in through the door. We jumped over Jabba, who was lying on the floor, saw Princess Leah passing out the supers to a bunch of them Imperial stormtroopers. I stood on the stairs and had a few drinks with a floppy-eared scouser named Jar Jar Binks. All the lads from both sides of the force were joking and dancing and knocking back the sauce, listening to the laughs and the drum and the bass. I felt proud to be a citizen of outer space till I heard this geezer with a dodgy throat, a pale green face and a big brown coat say something about my father that I didn't understand. Then a bolt of electricity shot out of his hand. My Jedi training came to me, I turned around and ducked. He'd blown up the stereo, the telly was fucked. C-3PO spilled his brandy and soda. I pulled out my sabre, but there's Master Yoda holding me back saying, calm down lad, worth it he's not. A drink we've all had. I started backing off through the hole in the wall. Darth Maul steps up and it's a full on brawl. Furniture's flying like a meteor shower. Boba Fett's behind the sofa chucking eggs and flour. Me and some mates from the Rebel Alliance had him pinned down with a kitchen appliance. Princess Leah phones the busies, as she's every right to do, then pulls out a shooter and joins in too. But I think Darth Maul punched out me lights, because when I come round, I'm being read me rights. I was taken to the local police base station and questioned by the Interstellar Trade Federation. The nice droid and the nasty droid piling on the stress as I slipped in and out of consciousness, asking me what I'd been up to since the Rebel Army discharge had come through. After 36 hours, I was on a loser, when in strides the fella that I'd met in the boozer. He sends out the droids and says he'll take the blame. I said, all right, sort it out, kid. What's your name? He peeled off his helmet, revealing his features. He wasn't the most appealing of creatures. He said, me name's Darth Vader, but you can call me Dad. And then he led me outside to his launching pad. I think it came as a disappointment when I told him I was late for this restart appointment. He flew me to the job shop, promised that he'd wait, and I do apologise for being two hours late. And I know that my entitlements could get rearranged now my family circumstances have somewhat changed. Hey, and while you've got your pen out, will it happen so quick? With the shock and the trauma, I'm going on the sick. I fought for the farce, and it's all a fucking farce. Return of the Jedi, restart my ass. <laughs> that was me. These are both Black Sparrows. <laughs> Avoiding 
seems like it stands I lock myself away behind my psychos Relearn my childhood fear Someone sighed and said, oh my, this just ain't working No, I think we've gone too far Give him a day and he'll say it's life, and so will I And I'll see you in the bar, mate, we're going far, we're going far You're always talking sideways, spilling drinks and looking our way you're always asking what I need to smile for these days You're always talking stupid, are you really fucking useless? You're always asking what I'm up for the days You're always talking sideways, spinning drinks and looking my way You're always asking what I need to smile for these days You're always talking stupid, are you really fucking useless? You're always asking what I'm up for the days